Today we are going to be doing my makeup for Valentine's Day. I'm gonna be doing this like a get ready with me and yeah. So if you guys would like to see how I got this whole look, then just go ahead and keep on watching. So first things first, we're gonna start off with my hair. And for today, I'm just gonna do something simple. I usually either wear it naturally curly or straight. And because of everything going on with my curly hair situation, I'm deciding to do it straight this time around. I'm also going to be exfoliating my lips. That's what I'm doing right here. I just grab my toothbrush and just scrub away at my lips. While I'm waiting for my straightener to heat up, I'm gonna apply my moisturizer so that way it has time to seep in. Usually when I'm doing my hair, that's when I'll add in my moisturizer and then I will also add in my primer. That way when by the time it, I do my makeup, it already seeps in and I don't have to wait to start my makeup. I wanted to curl my hair today because I usually don't curl it with a curling iron, but I boxed up all of my curling irons because, you know, we're moving, so that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. So straight is fine. Straight works out good. It's okay. And once I'm done straightening my hair, this is when I add my primer, and then we are going to put in our extensions. It cannot be date night without some extensions. So like I said, I've already added my moisturizer and my primer, so we're going to go on to the face. I'm kind of going to do this video like how I did my holiday, Christmas, get ready with me I think. But to where I'm just going to kind of talk, kind of speed through things, a big old healthy mix of both. I'm trying to do something subtle today because, you know. I can bake a cake on my face any other day, but today I feel like, you know, hopefully my husband wants to see my more natural, I wouldn't say beauty, but my more naturalness come out. So what I'm going to do my eyes with today is my Naked Urban Decay, oh Naked 3 Urban Decay. I haven't used this palette in a very long time. And it's a bunch of just pinky 
shades. I'm gonna do a mixture of these two right here. And it is Burnout and Limit. And I'm just gonna kind of put that all over the eye. So I went in with Dust and Buzz, mixed them together, and I go in with my, my finger just because I feel like it packs it on way, way better. And I'm just gonna do that kind of near the corner. And then what I am going to do is take my brush that I still had all those other colors on, and I'm going to kind of mix in just the crease area, not the rest of it, just the crease area. Then I'm going in with a denser brush and I'm going to pick up Factory and I'm going to dab very, very lightly. Like I want basically nothing if not like a little bit on my brush. And I'm going to bring it inward, kind of where the outer V is supposed to go. And I'm going to buff that in slowly. I'm taking the tiniest amount on my brush and very slowly buffing it out because then from there I'm going to see if I want to keep packing it on or if that is enough. I'm trying to stay as subtle as I can. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some concealer and I'm going to kind of just do a triangle underneath. Then I'm going to take MAC Studio Fix powder and I don't know what, it rubbed off, it's one of the lighter shades. And I'm going to set underneath my eyes and the entire face. And then for underneath my eyes, I am going to take factory and a little bit of dark side. So factory and a little bit of dark side. Um, very small amount of dark side. So majority of it I will pack on is factory and then a tiny bit, so like two little dabs of dark side. So you see how it gives like a little bit of like a smoky effect. Now we're gonna be doing my cheeks. So we are gonna be doing bronzer first. This is the NYX Matte Bronzer. And I'm just going to use one of these, what is this, Physician's Formula. And just kind of going along this area. I always do this part very subtle also. Um, I just more like it to make it look like I have a tiny bit of definition, but nothing too crazy. Oh, I'm sorry. And then I'm taking some blush. This is from Milani. And this is Romantic Rose. I like this color. This is the one I always use. I just feel like it's not like in your face pink. I feel like it's like a very subtle pink. A little bit there. And I'm going to blend. Then I'm going to take some highlighter. I usually don't use highlighter, but I'm just doing a tiny bit. I'm gonna take just a little bit on my finger and just put it on the tips of my nose. And then I'm going to be doing my eyebrows off camera. The reason I've been doing them off camera when I do these videos is because I, ha I haven't gotten to, to get them threaded or anything yet. So I have a bunch of little flyaway hairs that I don't want you up close and personal with. So I'm going to be doing my eyebrows off camera and then I'll be back. I'm back with be these babies. So now on to the eyes. So what I do with my eyes is I will use my eyelash curler and I try to get my eyelashes as much as I can to touch my eyebrow because I have actually really long eye 
lashes. And then what I will do is I use gel eyeliner. I don't do a winged liner because I have hooded eyes. So when I put on winged liner, it makes my eyes look about this big. So that way, you know, they look more open and alive. I can also look very sleepy. So yeah, instead of my eyes looking very sleepy also, because all I'll see is like black eyeliner all along this part, but since you can't see my the the eyelid, so you can't really see what I have on unless you look at like my crease. Um, it can make me look very, very sleepy. So instead, I put the eyeliner on the underneath waterline and that makes my eyes look way more awake. For anyone who has hooded eyes like mine, use some gel eyeliner and tight line just underneath and just see the type of difference that it, it makes. And then I will go in afterwards and put on my mascara. So now I'm going to take my eyeliner and this brush, just a little pencil brush, and I pick up some, put it on, and then be very careful with this because it will stain. And then I just slowly dab it on the eye line, on the tight line. And if you guys are wondering about my nails, I have a video on how I did these. These are um, press-ons that I have just painted. Oh, you should have seen the way the video was turning out. I took my nails off, what did I, like four times? I was getting so frustrated because like, I used to be able to do nails. Um, I went to cosmetology school and you know, I, I wasn't the best at them, but I also wasn't the worst at them. And with me and my nails, oh, I was able to, anything I wanted I could do. I could do any type of design. When I went to do these nails, I was like, okay, I have the perfect idea. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna do that. And then I would try it and I'd be like, okay, well, that doesn't look good. Do a different style, a little bit of an easier style. And nope, that didn't work also. I was like, what the, what the heck is going on right now? So this took me four different tries. I started at nine, I didn't finish the video until two. Yeah, that's how long it took. I wasted a set of nails. Um, and I only did this hand with the L-O-V-E. This sand has absolutely nothing on it. And then I'm taking a little bit of the eyeliner also, just a little, little bit, and adding it to the bottom waterline. And then we are going to take some mascara and just add a couple of coats. Now, all this stuff that you see around my eyes, I could just take it off. What you do is you wait for it to dry. And so how I would say that it's dry is once your eyelashes are dry, the eye mascara is dry. You take a Q-tip, you just rub it off, and it's gone. So then I'm gonna add a little bit onto the bottom and then we are going on to the lips. So that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll be seeing you guys very soon in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.